Hi guys! Yes, yes, yes! Man, what has it been? What has it been about two months since I recorded my last content? And I do apologize. I'm loving all the new subscribers and followers, and I've just been extremely, extremely busy. And man, y'all know when I'm in my car, I love just taking you guys out there with me. Learning much as possible before you jump in this and start this business is key. And in this video today, I'm just going to be going over the valuable things about partnership. We're going to be speaking about revenue. And I done also got out there, like I said, I've been touring properties. You've been so, so busy, been out feeling. Mentees have been started operating and I'm loving it. So I have a ton to say. So grab your ink pens and grab your notebooks because we're going to get started today, right? Let's just get started. Let's jump on in there. Man, so why start this type of business, right? Why start this type of housing in the community? Man, it's just simple, guys. It is needed. No matter what demographic that you decide to target, housing is needed. Man, servicing single women with kids, man, that's, that's a rough one. And it's something that's definitely needed more in the community. You know, serving people who are um, suffering from an alcohol or drug addiction. That's another big one that's needed in the community. Man, people who are mentally disabled, we need to provide more housing for them, right? Structure is key. I love it. Providing housing for the seniors. That's something different, man. I'm going to tell you that's been a different one also. So we're going to be going in. And not to mention, because all those things are needed in our communities, let's speak about the revenue, right? Let's talk about the revenue and transitional housing, recovery living. All those things are going to bring you a lucrative income. But applying best practices are key, guys. Applying best practices. Man, I've been seeing certain things I like and certain things that I don't like. And that's why, man, I'm out here again in my car. And I want to go and show you guys, man, upgrades to certain mentees who have started this out. They have went out, extended, brought other properties, did upgrades to those properties. We want to see those out. And every property is different. If you decide to service, you know, seniors, you definitely want to keep those things in mind. If you decide to target, man, people who are uh, our youth, man, we definitely want to make them in a city area. We definitely want to help those individuals. So let's jump on in there. Let's just see what's been going on. I want to show you guys some updates and then we're going to be jumping into some more tools. So give me one second. properties and definitely those upgrades that Minty did so he can best serve the community that he wants to and those are the seniors I'm excited man definitely um shadowing over individuals why they get this thing started off and learning different things that's working for them and not working for them you know I'm always open to changes if anyone worked with me personally you know you would know that I'm always open to adjusting things and making things better to benefit you guys in the right way man that's just so important throughout it all right and also let's speak a little bit about a healthy partnership that's important if you don't have a property and and, and let's speak to realtors too before I go in depth about if you ain't got a property let's speak to realtors for a second realtors investors homeowners um, who are interested in starting this but I know you guys have fears right I speak to so many often and those fears have came because of prior tenants this is a different type of business guys we are providing services right so a lot of those fears that you have had um, with your other prior tenants you know those things let's push those things to side guaranteed uh, uh, rent right 
That's, that's what we're providing. Those are things that we are going to be um, uh, making sure that you have monthly. Also, I know I, I see a lot of damages. Man, every time I go to tour a property, I'm getting a, um, either if it's the owner or a realtor, investor, they just I put a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of money inside of that property. And because, you know, I understand, right? Man, I give camera access, right? So those are do key things like that. So you're not able and, 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 and don't feel like, man, you're gonna be going down that same dark road again. This is a different service. And then let's speak about a healthier partnership for people, individuals like myself. I got a passion to get started. You know, starting this business out is gonna take furniture expenses, um, you know, you, 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 expenses as far as utilities, man, and, and then and then you got to go out and spend money on marketing. It's just a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of different things that you have to do prior to starting, and it's very, very costly, right? It, it costs to start up a business, and when you are going into a partnership, key things to do is to consider those things. Always set realistic goals. Don't just jump into different things because it's, you know, it's something that you really really, really want, let it be realistic to things that you know that you can be able to accomplish. That's part of a healthier partnership. Because if you gain that trust, expanding and jumping out there will be not a problem at all. And I mean that, right? Um, let's speak a little bit about best practices. Man, again, I've been out, I've been out touring. As y'all know, I've been going from place to place. And I see things that, again, I like and things that I don't like. So when you are applying those best practices, and let me speak again to people like me, my mentees, people are starting out, you're starting this business out, apply best practices. Group homes are starting to get a horrible name, man. And honestly, I see why. I see why because, you know, we having people who move people in, they're not considerate as far as their services, things that they need. They're considerate about the money that's in their pocket, and that's not fair, you know, because the same thing, you could be in that same boat tomorrow. So we don't want to put, you know, three, four individuals inside of one room. How is that going to work out, right? Definitely. And then charging them the max of their income. Those things aren't best practices. A part of doing best practices, if we're joining out here and we're saying we're helping the community, let it be affordable, right? Start those rates out at what HUD would like us to start those things out at. That's important, right? That's a part of operating a uh, awesome program. Also provide those tools that's involved within that, no matter what the services are. Man, again, they're needed as well too. So I don't, 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 don't want to harp too much about the things that I don't like because I love this type of housing. Me, myself, have served so many individuals in need. I'm telling you, I didn't have people travel and come from a different state just to be able to stay and be housed inside of one of my transitional homes. Because the services are meant for you to be able to accomplish them right? You coming into a workshop, we've been able to do this. And if you are in need of different, you know, personal care services, let's make sure we're doing those things to make sure that you're providing the services that those individuals need. That's a part of best practices, expanding in your area and just doing things that you need to do. And that's what I do coaching on, guys. I go crazy. I just coach, coach, coach. And let's jump into it. Let's see a little bit of SWAT I will be doing, look at me, I'm getting tongue tied. Let's see a little bit of what I'm doing inside of that training. Let's put a visual to it, one second. Okay guys, let's jump into some trainings. Yes, I love it. 26 weeks of training. We go everywhere from Florida, Ohio, Atlanta, revenue training. Man, we in a HUD exchange and just a ton of different beneficial things that you're gonna need to know in order to be successful within this business. I love coaching it, I love training it. And when I am training these different things, man, I just go crazy with it. Numerous training, we go weeks again, 26 weeks of training, um, offering the best group home insurance and just going crazy with it, guys. So again, when you're ready, definitely, let's go in depth, let's get it going. Property hot leads, different programs. And we're going to make sure you set to go in your state. All right. Yes, man, I'm loving that training, right, guys? You're going to get the tools that you need to be successful, hands down. No doubt about that. 
at competitive rates. Man, I provide even payment plans for you guys to be successful. So with all those things being said, what, why, why we not signing up today? What we got to do? What we going to do? How we going to do it, right? Let's get it going. And then also, too, guys, I have extended services. Man, I also provide my filling services. So let's talk about it. I love it. Let's talk about it. Filling services will include, man, once you join in, we're able to, if you are in the Michigan area, I'll send a team out there to inspect your property, see what we're going to be bringing you in revenue, what is the best fit for your home. Man, that's going to be important, it's exciting things. And then also as well, too, if you are in a different state, man, I'm nationwide. What, what are we talking about? We'll be able to do these things virtual. All training is live. We do live training. Yes, yes, yes. And you will be able to, let's max them rooms out, right? Let's talk about it. Revenue, let's get it. And then another thing about the awesome thing about the filling services, you're able to extend your services a lot quicker, meaning open up the other property. We got people who are actually starting mentorship program in less than four months. They didn't grab their property, expanding, opening up. And it's just an amazing thing for myself. It's an accomplishment for myself as well, too. And for my individuals who are joining in and starting this thing out, I am having an annual dinner come June the 8th. Man, I want to see you there. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to be catering a dinner for all of my mentees who have successfully made it through my six months of training. Man, I get a little rough in there, but I also am very understanding. Man, keep my line open. Definitely get in touch with me because I just want to see everyone successful. When you're successful, man, I love it, right? Not to mention it makes me feel like I'm even more successful. So how can we go wrong with that? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love it, yes. So, guys, I know it's been a minute, and it's been a longer video. We didn't sync it all. We went our properties. I didn't pick with a couple individuals who got multiple people in their house. We ain't gonna do that here, right? So, until next time, I'll have another video up soon. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, because we don't even know when we're gonna be doing videos in, right? Come, huh? When they gonna go? When they gonna go? <laughs> you guys have a nice one. Bye bye. <laughs>